Day 13. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am tackling my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, click on the video above or just take a look at the daily goals that I have listed below. I can't believe that it is day 13. I am in shock that the time has gone by so quickly and so slowly at the same time. I find that that happens every time I'm doing a sort of like reset challenge, anytime I'm trying to do some kind of diet, I feel like time just gets very weird. But I'm very happy that I made it to over halfway. I feel pretty good today. Right now as I'm recording this, it's 12.15. Uh, and I woke up feeling great. I really think the intermittent fasting is, is for me. I really like the energy that I get. I get these amazing energy spikes in the morning. And even though I'm hungry, I still feel like I'm, I, can, I can handle the hunger and I have a lot of energy, which has just been really wonderful. Yesterday, as you guys know, was a calorie cut day. So today I'm looking forward to a regular calorie day, which just means that the window of calories can go all the way up to 2200 if I so choose. And for the record, I have not gone that high yet on my caloric intake. Like I said yesterday, it's all psychological for me. So this has been working for me to give myself the calorie range, which has been really helpful. And you know, I just, again, wanna thank people who have been following this journey for as long as you have been. Um, specifically, there are two channels that I wanna shout out, uh, Becca, and uh, Bowie. I'm gonna link both of them below, but I've really enjoyed um, you know, their comments and I really enjoy their channels. So uh, please go check them out if you haven't. So let's jump right into it. Of course, we are continuing when it comes to my mind with Martha Beck's book, The Way of Integrity. All right, so I am, uh, I'm not a fan of this chapter that I'm reading. I know Miss E, you bought the book and you're reading along with me now. When you get to the, the chapter, the part of the book that talks about the errors of righteousness, I'd love to know your thoughts. You can come back to this video and like comment on it. I just, I had a tough time understanding the relevance of it. So I am only gonna share with you guys what I found to be helpful. So uh, let's just dive right in. So we're talking about these errors of righteousness that we sometimes make when we think that we are right all the time. The goal in this chapter is to get us to realize that we might not always be right and to focus more on our own inner truths that may not line up with what we've been taught or what we've been um, growing up with, which will allow us to be more open to change, more open to growth, and more open to becoming who we really are. The main takeaway I got from these 10 pages today is just get out of your own way. And now moving on to the next chapter, we begin to end what she refers to as self-betrayal. I like this chapter a lot, actually. It's all about the ways in which we lie to ourselves. Before we get into the way that we deceive ourselves, she categorizes three different types of lies that all of us should be somewhat familiar with. The first one being black lies. So these are the outright liars that you've probably met in your life. If you've ever encountered a narcissist or a pathological liar, this is a person that just likes to lie. They can't really help themselves. They've just become sort of who they are. The second type of lies are white lies. Of course, I think all of us have told a white lie every so often. And she makes a point to say that because of the social contract that we all find ourselves in, we're gonna, we're gonna say like an outfit looks nice, even though it looks terrible on one of our friends. I appreciate friends that are able to give me some white lies every so often. Of course, honesty is always the best policy, but I feel like there's always that fine line between telling somebody a white lie and being brutally honest. And sometimes brutal honesty is actually just meanness. So I 
yeah, I, I, I have I have been known to tell a white lie or two. And then she finally talks about gray lies, which are sort of somewhere in between, kind of obviously black and white. Now these are the lies that we might tell ourselves to convince ourselves to stay in uncomfortable situations. The biggest example and the one that might resonate with people watching this, you're in a really toxic relationship and you tell yourself, you know, he's just tired or she's just, you know, uh, too busy. I, I get it, she has a lot of work. She doesn't really have time for me. You kind of convince yourself to stay in the toxic relationship when the truth is you're deeply, deeply unhappy and unsatisfied. But the main point for today is that there is a price to lying, whether it be black, white, or gray. It is exhausting trying to pretend for that long. So tomorrow we're going to begin walking into the truth. Now let's talk about the body. So I decided to go for a walk outside, which I love doing when the weather is not disgusting. So I made a horrible, horrible mistake by going outside for a walk. Like, it's too hot. It's just not right. I, sh I shouldn't shouldn't be out here. It's too hot. I ended up coming back and it was only like a two and a half mile walk. It just was not good enough for me. So I ended up doing a 15 minute walk jog on the treadmill over here. It's just really important for me now to like hit my move ring. And I knew that that first walk was just not gonna do it. And now let's do the soul. Feel free to meditate along with the nature that I have provided to you outside of my apartment window.
read 10 pages of the book. Yep. I closed the move ring with that little jog. I got 750, which I'm super proud, and 240. I'm sorry, 2400. Ooh, one gallon of water. Uh, today was a regular day, thankfully, and the total calories, I went all the way up to 2,000, so let's see what that does. Meditated for five minutes, and film and upload this accountability video. See you guys tomorrow.